an international project reaches its one-and-a-half-year mark. Founder of Ability Haiti, Eric Doubt, has almost reached his goal, but he's looking for more help. It's a project to start a documentary process uh, about uh, disability issues in Haiti. So we're talking about the social and medical and legal aspects and so on of disability and tell the stories of persons with disabilities in Haiti to try and raise awareness for that vulnerable population and uh, maybe get some outcomes in terms of projects and so on. Eric describes the poverty level in which these Haitians with disabilities endure. I'd never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, how pathetic their circumstances were. Uh, they were kept in literally beds that looked like iron cages. They had been abandoned by parents. They were disabled. That was my initial shock and introduction to Haiti, of which I knew very little. And I volunteered with an organization immediately, and it happened to be in the disability sector, Healing Hands for Haiti. And as I became more involved, I became more interested and aware of um, there's about a million persons with disabilities in Haiti. And um, not proportion-wise, not that much greater than many other countries, but the uh, circumstances in which they live are vastly different from what we would experience here in terms of medical infrastructure, public health, rehabilitation, and so on. And I just became fascinated by um, their plight uh, and what uh, the situation of their families and caregivers were and the organizations, both internal, governmental, and non-governmental, external organizations were doing to try and help. The largest problem when it comes to creating and raising awareness is the amount of funding that's needed to successfully grab the viewer's attention. First of all, any project, uh, whether communications or building a hospital, needs money. So I have been crowdfunding. Uh, we've got a, a Facebook page. Uh, uh, I'm writing articles and so on to try and get awareness of uh, Haiti, disability, uh, persons with disabilities, and Ability Haiti, our project. So money is always one of the best things you can throw at anything that needs, um, needs advancement. But also I'm looking for interest, both in Canada, in North America, and in Haiti. Uh, first of all, in Haiti, uh, the project has to be Haitian-centric. It's got to be contributed to and run by Haitians. So I am going to be in the background trying to pull some strings, drive it, but I'm looking for spokespersons, volunteers, filmmakers, uh, writers, translators, etc all the resources you need for this kind of project within Haiti. And fortunately, my 10 or more years of involvement, I've got lots of friends and contacts, and boy, I'm out there arm twisting. In Canada and locally, it's funding. It's, uh, we need volunteers, uh, translators for French, uh, designers, uh, website uh, developers, uh, people to project manage, et cetera, et cetera. But on a basic level, just to sh show some interest, just to make inquiries as to what we're doing, share the information we post on Facebook and other social media to try and get uh, increased awareness. Reporting for Holton Insider, I'm Shane Lansing.